Hi, this is Deborah Ann Spence, and I've been selling real estate for six years. Our team of highly trained professionals, along with our marketing plan, has sold over 150 homes all over the Philadelphia market. And this is how we do it. Greetings all, I am Deborah Ann Spence, and i like to share with you my story on how I became, in my opinion, successful in real estate and became a broker owner. I started out um, the youngest of seven in the South Bronx of New York, and my family was dirt poor. I came across an opportunity when I was a senior in high school to apply for a scholarship program and go to college. So I went to college. I, I got a four year scholarship. I graduated um, with an accounting degree. And then, you know, after that, my career really didn't start until I was 40 years old. I didn't wake up until I was 40 years old. I had children and I became really, really sick. And um, that illness had me in and out of the hospital for 10 years. And so when I was 40, I, I woke up and I started my career selling uh, cell phones at the, um, like a prepaid store. And I came across a mechanic after um, experiencing some hardship, being homeless, getting kicked out of the house and being homeless. And he was working on my car in front of a vacant lot. And he told me about real estate. He said, this vacant lot will turn into a million dollar project, if not more. And I was amazed because for me, it looked like an eyesore. But for him, he saw the real estate, he saw the opportunity. And I said to myself, I have to find out some more about real estate industry because I'm making $30 selling a prepaid phone. It has to be something more. I still wasn't able to take care of myself fully, to take care of my family. And I did some research. I realized that he was right and I jumped all in. I quit my job. I studied for six weeks and I became licensed to sell real estate. And from day one, I jumped on the phone and I started making cold calls. And that first year, I became rookie of the year because I sold, um, I listed over 64 homes and I sold half of them. And so I had this desire, this burning desire to succeed in the business. And there wasn't an option for me to say, you know, I'll oh, give it a try and see what happens. If not, I have this to fall back on. There was nothing for me to fall back on. And I'm already late in life, starting my career, starting my work life. So it was either I succeed or I don't succeed, but it wasn't something, it wasn't an option for me. So I gave it my all, I gave it my full all. I was so afraid early on in the beginning, um, my, my first day, I was so afraid. I didn't know if I would be able to sell one home. My goal was just to sell one home for the year. And I know that's, that's really sad that I had only one one home as a goal, but initially I just wanted to be able to sell one home because I didn't know anyone in my area. I didn't know my neighbors. I lived in a very, very scary, dangerous neighborhood at the time. And I didn't know anyone and I didn't feel comfortable going to them and asking them for help. So I was afraid that I would not be successful. And if I was to sell one home, to me, that would have felt like success. But guess what? I became rookie of the year. I listed about 64 homes. I sold half of them. And the next year I sold over 50 and, and then it just went on like that. And my goal obviously increased as time went on, but that fear, and I call FUD, is, you know, fear, uncertainty, and doubt that plagues the mind. And the battle is not with anyone else, not with competitors, not with uh, anyone that I knew, not with my family members, not with my friends. My competition was my mind, that, that fear, uncertainty, and doubt, the FUD. And once I overcame the battle of the mind, I was able to soar as an individual on a personal level, as far as 
my own self-development and I was able to soar on a professional level in my career. I learned um, on my journey that I am stronger than I think. I learned that I am, I have um, undergone so much hardship and so much, so much pain, so much disappointment in my life. And I realized after going through this journey of becoming a um, real estate agent, and eventually a uh, broker, broker owner, I realized that it, 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 I realized that if you, if you persevere, if you continue on and don't give up, that the universe will get out of your way and that eventually you will get to where you want to be. And I realized that in my past, I felt like I couldn't go any further. I couldn't take another step. I couldn't endure another hardship, another disappointment, and that I would crack from the stress and the strain of it all. But what I've realized going through this journey in, in becoming a real estate agent and, and choosing real estate as my career at a late age, by the way, at 40 years old, well, actually 45 when I actually became a real estate agent, I realized that one, I'm stronger than I, I, I ever imagined to be. And two, that when things happen and when things go wrong, as they will, that I can make that next step and I know it will be better the next day. The sun will come out the next day and I will be able to survive it and it wouldn't be uh, such a, a, a strain on the heart and on the mind. And that journey and that lesson, it's just, it's priceless. I am really excited that someone like me that was at some point on the margins of society, dirt poor, um, homeless at certain points in my life, medical condition, sick for 10 years in and out of the hospital. Someone like me can become successful in real estate. It's amazing. It's, it's excellent to jump into this profession. And I hope I was hopeful in sharing my story. I hope if you're somewhere sitting, watching, thinking, or reading about real estate and thinking about, is this something I should you know, do as a career? I hope you listen to my story and realize that whatever you're going through right now, whether you're a licensed real estate and you're struggling or you're new to the business, or if you're not even in real estate and you'd like to change your career and change your life, you know, I did it, so so can you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'm Deborah Ann Spence with Fierce Realty Corp.